forces Callender into a save down to his left. Big save there. Joseph Martinez from 25 yards on, tries the curl. Megan trying to flick it through, and it comes to the back post, and it's a debut goal for Serhi Krebsov. Hits it off the post, Borgelin, saved off the left, Borgelin again, it's scored! It's Miami, the comfortable lead. Inter Miami are through to the final of League's Cup following a 4-1 win over Philadelphia Union in the semifinal. They've also confirmed their place in next year's CONCACAF Champions Cup. As we welcome you in to this edition of the Inter Miami Show, Chris Whittingham alongside the former England Arsenal West Brom and Inter Miami defender Kieran Gibbs. On this edition of the show, we'll look back on that game against Philadelphia Union as well as look ahead to the final against Nashville SC. And we'll tell you about the shirts they were wearing as part of the new Inter Miami collection with Bape. That's coming up later on in the show. But right now, Kieran, first six games with Lionel Messi, six wins and a trip to a cup final. Yeah, this was a huge performance, Chris. Make no mistake. And uh, we saw a top, top away performance here and against a really stubborn Philadelphia side. Um, you know, really strong at home. They haven't conceded more than two goals at home in, in since 2020. So, you know, to put four past them and perform the way they did is a big, big statement from the club. And the result was justified. You know, they really started the game well. Um, they were deadly from the from the beginning, and it was it was tough for Philadelphia. Uh, they had a they had a to weather the storm a little bit in the second half, but apart from that, it was the perfect away performance. I mean, Tata must be over the moon, you know. Concacaf secured first final in the club's history, and the chance of, of winning a major trophy. So you know, it's really promising times for the club right now. Yeah, and four more goals as well. You think of two away matches for Inter Miami, eight goals in total between the games against Dallas and against Philadelphia in League's Cup. As we get into the highlights of this one, and Kieran mentioned a fantastic early start in this one for the Herons as they took on this Union side that from the starting lineup, it looked like they were sitting out to be defensive, and that plan got thrown out the window less than three minutes in. Ball in behind from Sergi Krivsov and Joseph Martinez with a fantastic finish into the bottom corner. His first goal from open play since Lionel Messi arrived, now got three goals in the tournament, including the penalties. But it's that man again. It's Lionel Messi. But first, nice hold of play from Martinez into Messi. And then from about 30, 35 yards out, he has a go and strikes gold. Yeah, I mean, listen, you have to expect the unexpected when you're playing against this player. And uh, whenever he's on the pitch, um, it's a fabulous strike. He, he's just been given too much time and space. And he, he's completely deadly from, from these distances. And it's ninth goal of the tournament. You saw some of the Messi fans in attendance. And then Taylor in behind for Jordi Alba, his first goal for the club. And you saw Robert Taylor taking advantage of the space there. So much of the attention going towards Messi. He turns the other way and finds that ball in behind to Jordi Alba, who makes the run into the space and a fantastic finish as well. Jordi Alba, the left back, his first goal for the club. Philly would find a route back into the game. This, though, a huge save from Drake Callender. Chris Donovan, the free header. And Callender, who also produced a huge save at 1-0 from Daniel. Daniel Gazdag made a couple of big ones in this game. Another fantastic performance in Drake Callender, although he doesn't keep the clean sheet. Alejandro Bedoya would eventually get a goal for Philly, but then Miami adding one more for good measure. Yedlin in behind for David Ruiz. Lovely finish beyond Blake who was rushing out to try and close down the angle and Ruiz into the bottom corner to give Miami the 4-1 lead and a trip to the League's Cup final and their first ever place in the CONCACAF Champions Cup. That'll be coming next year in that edition of the tournament. But Kieran, we want to take a look a little bit more at the goals in this one. And you have to start, obviously, with that ball in behind from Sergi Krivsov, finding Martinez, making that run in behind. It's a fantastic finish as well. Yeah, and it's really interesting what's happening now because Philly are normally a pressing team and they don't, especially at home, they don't like to allow the opposition the ball. But, you know, they've given so much time and space for the centre-halves and it's a lovely through ball for Joseph Martinez right in his path and he takes it on brilliantly. Like, great connection with the ball and like you said, first goal from open play, that'll do him the world of good. Yeah, Martinez with an instinctual finish and then playing the role of hold-up takes a huge challenge from Damian Lowe but finds Messi and again, you just can't give him that kind of space. Yeah, and first of all, I love the hold-up play from Martinez. As soon as Messi picks up the ball, you know it's going to be trouble. And the way he gets his head over the ball, his body down right over the ball, he connects cleanly with it. The keeper basically just has no chance. Um, it takes him by surprise, like Messi does always, takes people by surprise. 
And then Taylor again looking away from Messi and in towards Alba, who's in acres, Kieran. Yeah, and this is one of Jordi's biggest attributes, his, his timing of when to join the attack. Um, he smells the danger of the opposition so well. Um, he times it perfectly. Robert Taylor does really well to compose himself and he finds a brilliant pass. And once you get Jordi Alba in these positions, you know, we've seen it so many times. It's a cute little finish into the bottom corner. What a way to open your account for, for Inter Miami. Jordi Alba getting the goal for 3-0 just before halftime. And then Yedlin into Ruiz for the fourth. Yedlin an assist for a second straight game. Yeah, just when Philly were applying, you know, significant pressure, it's the, it's the young, fresh blood that comes on and, and puts the game to bed. Philly run out of legs a little bit, chasing the game. And it's another fairy tale story for the club as homegrown David Ruiz nets his second of the season in his breakthrough year. What a moment for, for him and his family um, and for the club in general. Yeah, we saw Kremaski score against Dallas and now Ruiz off the bench. The homegrown players, yeah, there's been a ton of new signings, but there's still room for them in the team. The academy players making an impact. What a finish there from Ruiz into that bottom corner. And Yedlin, a perfectly weighted ball. Blake trying to come out and close down the angle. But in the end, it's a 4-1 win for Inter Miami over Philadelphia Union. Some lovely goals in there as well. And a difficult night for Andre Blake in the goal of Philadelphia Union. But Kieran, as we can now move forward to the final. By the way, we're recording here at Drive Pink State the rain is starting to fall, perhaps an omen for what's coming to Nashville. The storm is heading up for the League's Cup final. Let's talk about that game against Nashville SC. As Inter Miami take on a team that have done very well in the competition, obviously given the fact they're in the final, they've beaten a couple of the big Mexican giants, including Monterrey, in the semifinal. But you've played in cup finals before. You've won cup finals before. How are Miami going to set about trying to control themselves in the occasion and try and eventually bring themselves forward in the game? Yeah, well, for me, whenever I got into a final, it was um, it was about how you can enjoy the moment as, as best you can because you realize in your career that these moments don't, don't come often. And so you, ha you have to try and embrace it as much as you can. And you have to realize the work that, that's been put in to, to get to, to this stage of the competition. You know, the boys have worked incredibly hard, um, all of the staff. And, you know, to enjoy the occasion is, is, is the most important and to, to free yourself from, from all of the pressure and, and just try to keep doing what you've been doing. You know, hopefully Tata uses the, the positive signs of the teams uh, in the, the team performances in the last few games and, you know, compiles some videos to, for the boys to, to look at and, and to know that they're a dangerous team right now and they're, they're on form. And so if they can just hold on to that and, and, and do it for one more game, I'm sure, I'm sure they'll be successful. Now, it is fairly remarkable that Inter Miami are playing Nashville SC in this final, given the shared history of these two sides coming into MLS at the exact same time in 2020, having to handle the COVID pandemic at the same time. They're in the same regional group coming out of MLS's back, playing several times, both in Nashville and here at Dry Pink Stadium. You also look at the fact they played in the playoffs in 2020. And obviously, have gone about their business in completely different ways, but have found success in equal measure. Hani Mukhtar and now the new DP striker, Sam Surridge, will lead the way for this Nashville team. It's pretty remarkable that this is the final, that it's two teams that came into the league at the same time now playing each other in this League's Cup final. Yeah, and naturally a lot of comparison between the two teams. Um, obviously a lot of changes for, for Miami recently, um, but I'm sure Nashville will, will know that it's a, it's a one-off game and when you're playing in a final, um, you won't be focusing too much on the opposition, you'll, you'll be focusing on yourself. So this, this will be a really exciting game. I'm looking forward to this one. Yeah, it's going to be a great game from Geodis Park on at Saturday night. But let's talk about one of the things that Miami have now achieved by virtue of winning the semifinal match. We talked about it earlier, through into the CONCACAF Champions Cup in 2023, or 2024, excuse me, and Miami now heading towards a competition where they could be playing in a Club World Cup in 2025, which will be hosted in the US. And just in the overall, when you talk about teams making that next step, that big step forward, one of the things that's talked about is playing in international competitions, playing in the UEFA Champions League in Europe, playing in the CONCACAF Champions Cup now, as it's called, here in the U.S. and in North America. It's, it was a statement of intent from this ownership when they came in from before the first game was played, when Diego Alonso was introduced as the first manager. I remember hearing Jorge Mas say, we want to be playing in the Champions League. And now to have done it three and a half years in, I think we'll now see Miami take that another step forward, elevate that extra step forward, because they'll be in a continental competition. 
Absolutely. And this is where the club wants to be. You know, they want to be playing in the biggest competitions, in the biggest games. And the club has high aspirations. We've heard the Jorge Mas talk about that a lot um, and how proud he is of the club and David as well. So this will be great for them. What an achievement. You know, such a quick turnaround after a difficult season. Let's be honest, it's um, been a, a real bright spark. And, 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 you know, the club can focus on that and, and you know, really prepare for what's to come over next season hopefully bolster the squad and um, yeah it's promising times and it'll be a busy start to the start of next season as the CONCACAF Champions Cup usually comes early in the year so Miami will have to be ready and off and running from the start of 2024 but exciting times ahead now we would do want to talk a bit about the shirts that we're wearing we're wearing shirts from a company called BAPE Inter Miami have done a collection here with BAPE we'll have a look at uh, the promo shoot for this as some really incredible pictures of Drake Callender and Leo Campana uh, getting a look at these fantastic bits of clothing, hoodies available, t-shirts available. You see the BAPE 93, BAPE, a Japanese company that are celebrating their 30th anniversary via this collection with Inter Miami. And they are beautiful looking shirts, hoodies as well, all kinds of gear available at BAPE Miami. There's a location down in South Florida as well as online in the U.S., and in a few other countries around the world. So this collection will be available from Saturday at 11 a.m. And you'll be able to check it out. Obviously, follow Inter Miami on all of their social platforms to get links and figure out where everything is. But this is some really cool clothing, and you see the Inter Miami players sporting it there. That'll do it for, the, for us on this week's edition of the Inter Miami Show. We'll be talking to you after a League's Cup final on the verge of a U.S. Open Cup semifinal, a return to MLS. It is a busy period for Inter Miami, and we'll be breaking it all down right here on the Inter Miami Show.